All right, logically we're back with another Sudoku. In fact, this might actually be five Sudokus, and I'm not going to do them all on, on a recording, but this could be like a series of five, as I should say. So this is a, um, what is it called? It is called Full English Breakfast by Michael Lefkowitz. And like I said, it has five Sudokus that are associated with it. The first one, which I have on the screen here, is called Sumatra Blend, which is a lovely type of coffee. And then the other four are called Summy Side Up, Some Dried Tomatoes, Breakfast Some Witch, and Some Day Brunch. As you can see, there's a bit of a theme there to the naming. So I guess I really should have called this one, instead of Sumatra Blend, some Atra Blend. So, enough with the rambling there. Let's get started on this one and see where we get to. So, as you can see, it's just a 4x4 Sudoku. So the rules are normal 4x4 Sudoku rules apply. So every column, that's a column, that's a row. Every row, every column, every 2x2 two two box as the digits one through four, once each, and coffee quads. The sum of the cells surrounding each cup of coffee is the same. All right, so simple enough. Let's see if we can figure this out. So we've got two sets of two, or three sets of two, counting. And then we have one set of four. Now, what's the minimum this four could be? It could be one, two, one, two, which would be six. The minimum, or say the maximum that any of these twos could be, would be four and three, which would be seven. So there's only a difference of one between these two. And this actually has to be in both of them. So can I do that? Here's what I'm thinking. Let's say these are 1 and 2. And these are 1 and 2. That's 6 total. This would have to be the 2, and this would have to be a 4. Now, the other way to look at it would be, what if... And that's if it's a bare minimum. What if it's not a bare minimum? So the only thing we can do to make it not a bare minimum would be 1 and 3. And that would equal 7, which was the maximum that this can be. So this would have to be the 3, and this would have to be a 4. So I've essentially just said that no matter what, this is a 4, and this was either the 2 or the 3. So, and this one would have to be 1, this one would have to be 1, this would have to be 2. So this is 4 no matter what, which means this is 4, this is 3, this is 2. Doot, 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 3 in the corner. This has to be 3. So we know it's 6. So it's the bare minimum. So this has to be 6. And it's going to have to be 2 and 4. And this is going to have to be 6. That's already 4 there. So this has to be 2. So this has to be 1, 3, 4, 3, and 1. Okay, and there we go. First one solved. And that was very quick. So we're going to move on to the second one. which was Sami Side Up. Now the rules on this one are normal 6x6 six six, uh, Sudoku rules. So now this means every row, every column, and every 2x3 section must contain the digits 1 through 6 once each. And then we've got bacon and eggs. Pair up each egg 
with a bacon cage. The number on the egg, read from left to right, is the sum of its bacon cage. Okay, so what does that mean? So let's say this was a one and a two. This would then be a 12, and that would have to match up to one of these rows, or one of these cages, sorry. Okay, it seems fair. So let's get into summy side up. Let's see if we can get this one done. So where do we start? So we know we've got a one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, just, just thinking for a second there. It's hard sometimes. So what is one, two, three, four, five, six? Well, it equals 21. So one of these eggs has to be 2, 1, is what that means. Okay. I don't know that that differentiates which one's which. So maybe we need to start with these singles, because the most they can be is 6. They can't be one or two. So they're either th three, four, five, or six. I'm going to write that just to put it there. Which means these have to be different. Do they have to be different? I don't guess it has to be necessarily. Because these could be one, two, one, two. Or one, two, one, two, like that. And then they were both equal three. So I guess that is possible. Clearly, there can't be a six and a five or a six and a four in either of these because this would be double digits. So, where do we start? So I know one of these is a two. One of them now you can never do twenty, obviously, because two zero isn't a valid Sudoku, so you couldn't have two, three, four, five, and six. This one at least it can be what well, has to be a two digit two digit number. Because these bacons are already taken by these two eggs. So th these are one and two. Can't be zero, obviously. You can't go any higher than two. But you can't get to 30 with one to six. Okay. So what does that mean? These three plus that, no, I don't think that's going to get me anywhere. Well, one of, one of these is a two. The other two are ones. So what am I missing that's obvious here? So we said this has to have a 1 on it. Is there anything else that it has to have? Well, we know it, you know, it can't be anything like 19, 18, or 17. Because we can't use those digits in this two this six by six Sudoku. <clears throat> so can there be a six on here? So, 
So 1, 2, 3, and 4 is 10. So no, there can't be a 6 on here. And the reason why, if there is a 6 on here, there has to be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. No, am I wrong on that? I don't, th I think I might be using bad logic here for a second. Hold on. If it has a six on it, it would have to be one, two, three, and four, which would equal 16, which is doable. For some reason, I was thinking of this one. Like if this was one, two, three, four, six. This would have to be a 5, but then you can have a 15. What if... What if this didn't have a 2? It would force this to be a 12. If it didn't have a 2, that doesn't work. Because then you have 6, 5, 4, 3, and 1 is too high. Right? So it has to be 21 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. If I remove the 2, it would be 19, which doesn't work. So it has a 2 on it, has a 1 on it. I'm assuming it's going to have to have a 3 on it, because if it doesn't have a 3, it would equal to 18. I'm just going to write these in. Does it have to have the 4? Well, if it doesn't have a 4 on it, it's 17, which doesn't work, so it does have a 4. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 guaranteed, and then it either has a 5 or a 6. This is a 5 or a 6, which means this has to be a 1. Because you can't get up to 25 or 26. So there has to be a 1 in here. We know that's not. So where does that lead me? That's a one. One of these has to be a two. The other one is a one. The one that has the two has to have the one. So this one cannot be the two. So that's two. That's one, that's two, and one it means this is one. These are not one, that's not two. So one of these is one, and one of those two is one. I'm gonna get rid of the wrong button. Just because I don't like crossing boxes like that. So, this matches with this. This one, 15 or 16, can I make 15 and 16 of this thing? 654 would be 15, that's the most I can do. This one cannot be this one. Not what I determined before. This can't match up with this one. Because whatever's missing from this would have to go here. So if it's missing the six, this would be 15. But this would have to be the six. So that doesn't work. Yeah, so 
this egg has to go with this bacon. Maybe I should color these. Uh, yellow. For these. Let's put this one is in green. Just so I can keep in track. So this has to be 15 or 16 as well. So this one and this one. This. Yeah, this has to be 15, right? Because 6, 4, 5 is the most I can possibly get. So this one is 15, this is 16. This is not a 1, this is the 1, and this is the 1. These I said have to be 4, 5, 6, so this has to be the 5. This is 4 and 6. These are 2 and 3. Now, that can't be a 5. Got a 1 here. Here. So these can never be three, because one of these would have to be a two, which doesn't work. Well, I can just say there's a two here and a three here. So one of these is four. The other one could be four, five, or six still. Wait, this can't be six, so this is four. So these two together. So now this, this one and this go together, and this and this go together, like that. One of these is five. Uh, I gotta put a two here. Got the five and the three. These these had to be 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's not 4, 5. This is not 3 or 6. This is not 3. So this has to be 3. So that's a 4. So this has to be a 4 as well. I won't color these. This has to be 5 and 6. This has to be 5. I need 2 and 6 over here. So this has to be 4. This one is a given four, six, and four. Uh, these have to be two and six, so two and six. These have to be three and five. Doot, 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 doot. These have to be three and four. Three, four, two, three, six, two, and six. Hey, and there we go. You solved the puzzle. So those were the first two. I think I'm going to stop here and pick up the other three, either in another um, episode or I'm going to break it up into two. It depends on how far along I get. But we had a nice cup of coffee and then we had some eggs and bacon. They were both very tasty Sudokus. Hope you enjoyed that one, and uh, I'll see you in the next one with the other one. The other uh, English breakfast-based Sudokus. Alright, see you guys later.